Greetings, I'm Lim Li Ting, and today I would like to talk about how to create a traffic signal countdown timer model using Tinkercad. So, what is a traffic signal countdown timer? Traffic signal countdown timer, or in Malay, Lampu Isyarat Kiran Detik, can be defined as a clock that digitally display the time remaining for the current traffic light indication or in Malay bertujuan untuk menunjukkan masa yang tinggal untuk setiap pengisyaratan lampu isyarat and this is the overview model of my traffic signal counter timer using Tinkercad. card for this model i have created it using two different models. First is the LED traffic light model and the second is countdown timer model. So what is the component that we needed to create this model? First is microcontroller board or in Malay, Papan Micro Pengawal. Microcontroller board is a microcomputer that used to control the function of an embedded system in electronic application or in Malay ialah komputer dalam chip yang dicipta untuk kawalan alat elektronik. Next is the resistor or in Malay brain tank. Resistor is used to reduce current flow or in Malay untuk mengawal dan menghadkan arus dalam litar. For this model, the resistor that we mostly use is the resistor with the resistance of 220 ohms. Next is the light emitting diode or commonly known as LED and in Malay, diode pemancar cahaya. LED is used to convert electric energy to light and in Malay, untuk menghasilkan cahaya. Next is the wire and in Malay, wire. Wire is used to allow electricity to flow through the circuit. Membinakan pengairan elektrik dalam sesuatu litar. Next is the breadboard or in Malay, papan roti. Breadboard is used to build and test the circuit. Digunakan untuk pembinaan dan pengujian litar. And finally, is the seven segment display or in Malay, paparan tujuh segment. Seven segment display is used to displaying the decimal numerals or in Malay, untuk memaparkan nombor perpuluhan. The first model that we will learn to create is the LED traffic light model or in Malay, Model Lampu Isyarat LED. The component that we will need for this model is papan micro pengawal, printang, papan roti, diet pemancar cahaya, dan wire. Now, I will show the step on how to create a LED traffic light model using Tinkercad. Now, I would like to show how to create a LED graphic light model and also its code using Tinkercad. For this model, we will need Arduino Uno microcontroller, a breadboard, three LED lights with different colors which is red, yellow, and green to represent the traffic light, and also three resistor with the resistance of 220 ohms. First, I will connect the ground pin to the cathode of the breadboard. Next, I will connect the cathode of the red LED to the cathode of the breadboard. Well, the anode of the LED will be connected with the terminal 2 of the 
resistor. Well, the terminal one of the resistor will then be connected to the any pin number that you like from the microcontroller board. But for this model, I will use pin number 13, 12, and 11. Now, the same process will be done to the yellow and green LED light. Now, as can be seen from the model, I have connected the red LED light to the pin number of 13, the yellow LED light to the pin number of 12, and the green LED light to the pin number of 11. Now, before we start the simulation, I will do some coding. First, go to the notation and set the command. To green light. And then go to the output and drag set pin number 11 to high. And then go to the control and drag wait for one second underneath the set pin number 11 to high. Now go back to the output and now we will set the pin number 11 to low. This will allow the green light to light up for one second. Now for the yellow light, we will duplicate the code for the green light and then drag it down and change the command to yellow light. And for the yellow light, we will need to change the pin number 11 to pin 12. The same process will be done also for the red light. After finish the coding, we can now start the stimulation. As we can see, the green light will light up first for one second, followed by the yellow light, and finally it's the red light. And this is how we create the LED traffic light model. Now, for the second model, we will learn 
on how to create a countdown timer model or in Malay, model kira detik masa using Tinkercad. The component that we will need is papan micro pengawal, printang, papan roti, paparan tujuh segmen, dan wire. Now, I will show the step on how to create a countdown timer model using Tinkercad. Now, we'll be showing the step to create a countdown timer model using Arduino Uno microcontroller and the code needed for this model. We will need an Arduino Uno microcontroller, a backboard, a 7 segment display with the common cathode and 8 resistor with the resistance of 220 ohms. First, we need to connect the crown pin to the cathode of the backboard. We need to make sure that the lower cathode is connected to the upper cathode of the backboard, same as the anode. Now, we will connect the 5 voltage pin to the anode of the backboard. And since that, this is a se seven segment display with the common cathode, we will need to connect the common to the cathode. Now, we will take the first resistor and then flip it to become horizontal and then drag it to the backboard. This resistor will be connected to the decimal point pin of the 7 segment display. And the terminal 2 of this resistor 1 will be connected to the pin number 1 of the microcontroller board. Now, we will take the second resistor and flip it to become horizontal as same as the first resistor. For this resistor, we need to put, we need to make sure the terminal one of this resistor is not connected to the terminal one of the first resistor. And the terminal 2 is not connected to the terminal 2 of the first, first resistor. For this resistor, we are connected it to the C pin of the 7 segment display. And this, the terminal 2 will be connected to the second pin of the microcontroller board. Now take the third resistor and then flip it to the horizontal and put it here. This resistor will be used to connect it the E-pin of the segment display and the second terminal of this third resistor will be connected also to the
pin number 3 of the microcontroller. Fourth resistor, we will drag it below the third resistor and also make sure that the terminus of both resistor is not connected. For the fourth resistor, we will connect that it to the D pin and the second terminal will be connected to the pin number 4 of the microcontroller. The same process will be continued with the upper part of the 7 segment display. Now we will create coding that now we will create coding that will count down from two until zero. At the code, go to the notation. We will set the command to two. Then at the output, we will list down set pin from two until eight. We will not use set pin 1 as we didn't need to use the decimal point. Now, 
we will set pin number 2 and pin number 8 to low as to create number 2 at the 7 segment display. We also need to put wait 1 second after set pin 8. When we start the stimulation, it will show number 2. Now duplicate the code and then drag it down under the button and then change the command to 1. For 1, we only need the pin number 2 and pin number 5 to remain as high and the others will become low. And when you start running, you are sure 2 and 1. Then duplicate again. We will now create for number 0. For the number 0, only the pin number 7 is remain as low where the others will be changed to high. After we complete the coding, we can now start the stimulation. And as we can see, the 7 segment display will show the countdown from 2 until 0. And this is how we create the countdown timer model. After learning on how to create the LED traffic light model and the countdown timer model, we will learn on how to create a traffic signal countdown timer model using the combination of the both model. This is a traffic signal countdown timer that I have created using the combination of LED traffic light model and the countdown timer model. As we can see, both the model is the same as I have created previously, but there are some changes happen in the code. For example, for the green light, after set pin number 11 to high, the code will be followed by start the timer. And the timer will count down from 5 until 0. And after the 0, the timer will stop and it will continue with set pin number 11 to low. As for the yellow light, the timer only count down from 2 until 0. For the red light, it is the same as the green light. As the timer will go count down from 5 until 0. When we start the stimulation, we can see that the timer will count down the time taken for the LED to light up. And this is how the traffic signal counter timer work. And this is how we create a traffic signal countdown timer model using Tinkercad. Thanks for watching.